Hey rainbows and welcome back to another video. So today's video I'm so excited to do because I've been wanting to do this for a really long time. So I made a personality quiz for our royal family series. That way me and you guys can take the quiz and figure out which royal family character you are most similar to. So I'm going to be taking the quiz for you guys now so you can kind of get a sneak peek and see what I get. And then I'm going to put the link in the video description below and you guys can go take the quiz yourselves and then let me know who you guys get, which character you get as a result. So the quiz that I'm taking for you guys right now is not going to have as many questions as the one. It's not gonna be like a ton of questions, don't worry. It's not gonna take a super long time, but I am going to be adding a few more questions and all of that to the quiz that you guys will be taking. So that will be ready by the time this video comes out. But I didn't wanna do like all the questions just so I didn't like spoil too much for you guys because I do want you guys to go take the quiz yourselves and I will also give you a heads up so I really love just like analysis of characters and people and just like why they do the things that they do and what they're actually like and all that stuff so it might be a super detailed quiz and the questions might be kind of deep I'm gonna tell you that now because I've taken quizzes before for just like a TV show or something and I don't know some of the questions when they're not super in-depth or they're just like like what's your favorite food or all that stuff and then they just give you what character you're like and they like don't tell you why you're like that character I don't love those quizzes so I like something that just explains a little bit more so I have some like character descriptions for you guys too when you get your results so I'm just super excited to do this okay so we have the quiz here so it's called which mirror ray royal family character are you I'm actually taking this quiz on my Mac computer because I still haven't figured out how to screen record on my MSI yet. Oh, and then also, if you, if this is like the first video you've seen of mine, I have a royal family series, which is what this quiz is from. So I'll link that in the description below too. So you guys can go ahead and see that. But these characters are mostly based off of like some of still from season one, but mostly from season two. So if you have not seen season two yet, you might be kind of confused. But for the most part, I think more people watch season two first and some people haven't seen season one or they just watch season one later. So that is just a heads up. As I am taking this quiz, we are on season two, episode 30 of the Royal Family. So that's what these characters are based off of. But I'm gonna try to update this like as we go along with the series and like later in the series. So I'll make sure to do that, but okay. I'm so excited to do this, you guys. Okay, so I'll kind of like talk through the questions as we do it. It looks like I need something here, but I'll make sure to do that later. So let's go ahead and start. Okay, what do you value most? That is the first question. So our choices are family, love, helping others, patriotism, just doing what's right for my country or kingdom, which I probably, I mean, it could be pretty relevant. There's some patriotic people. So I guess like patriotism also like would be kind of like school spirit or something like that, if that's more relatable for you guys. And then power, good reputation, following the rules or following my dreams. So which do you value most? Oh my gosh, I don't even know if I can answer my own question. I think family and love are very important. I really like to help others. I just like to just do things for others, especially if they're in need and need our help. So that's very important to me. I think also following my dreams is probably more important than following the rules for me. I mean, like within reason. A good reputation is important too. Oh gosh, okay. So just if you relate to a lot of the answers, just answer to the best of your ability and like what you think fits you best. Mm, following my dreams or helping others? I am going to say helping others, I think. That, I, I value that a lot and that's really important to me. So I'm going to do that. And then, oh yeah, as you can see, so I'm gonna do eight questions in this video and then I'll add a few more, probably around like 10 to 15 questions once you guys are, once you guys take it, like once this video is published. So yeah, there was just a few more questions I wanted to add. Okay, so how do I handle bad situations? Okay, this one kind of gets a little bit deep. Some of these might apply, like more than one answer might apply to you for this too. So first choice is I cry, but it will only make me stronger. So basically I'm just believing that whatever happens, like even if it knocks you down, like it'll still make you stronger. Second one is ignore it. Everything will work out in the end. The third option is I keep to myself and don't let anyone in, which I guess would kind of be, kind of be similar to ignore it. I don't know, ignore it is just kind of like, 
oh, I don't need to worry about things that I can't fix and it'll just work out eventually. I don't have to do anything. I keep to myself and don't let anyone in. It's like, I just don't want to talk about it or something like that. And then the next one is find out who's responsible for causing it and make them pay. I think you guys know which characters would fit that. Last one is I make an effort to stay positive and do something about the situation if I can. So I think the ones that apply to me most is I cry, but it will only make me stronger. I'm a very emotional person. So I cry even if I'm happy. And then also I make an effort to stay positive and do something about the situation if I can. For me, it's like I've learned over the years to, you guys are gonna learn a lot about me in this video. Over the years, I have learned to be more positive because I used to be a lot more pessimistic. And then also just learn to like do something about the situation if I can. But then I've also learned that if there's nothing I can do, then just like try not to worry about it. I mean, I still cry even though I try to make an effort to stay positive positive and do something about it. I'm I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the last one, I think. I think that fits. Yeah, okay. So next is what word best describes you? So this could either be like how you see yourself or it could be like how your friends see you. I actually asked my boyfriend Jake what he would say because I feel like my answer would be different than like someone else's answer. Our choices are outgoing, rebellious, caring, responsible, brave, loner and romantic. I might add a few more options for you guys when you guys take the quiz. Um, so I would say, a f like I would say outgoing and I mean, I am just very caring to the point where it like affects me sometimes to where I just like care too much. So Jake said caring. Um, I, I'm also outgoing, but I really also cannot be outgoing. It kind of depends on the situation. I can be responsible to a point. So I wouldn't, I don't know. I probably wouldn't say like, I'm not the most responsible person in the world. I try to be, but you know, sometimes things just get away from you. I'm going to say caring, I think. I mean, Jake said that was the word that described me best, so I guess that works. All right, what scares you most? This one might be the darkest question out of all of them, so I apologize. I mean, honestly, all of these could probably scare you, or let me go through the options. So first is losing a loved one. Second is being humiliated. Third is letting people down. Fourth is not being successful. So I guess these are all kind of similar and honestly, all of these kind of scare me, but what scares you the most? I, okay, it probably like years ago probably would have been like being humiliated, but now I've learned to just like be a little bit more confident and it's not always about what people think of you, even though I still like care what people think, but like it's gotten better throughout the years. Um, losing a loved one, obviously to not being successful. That is like a fear. I wouldn't say it's like the biggest fear of my Mine, though and then letting people down ooh maybe letting people no losing a loved one I think losing a loved one would probably be it yep okay yeah sorry that one's that that one's like the darkest question I promise I just it, it helps though because we've had like you know a lot of things happen in the royal family series and I know how our characters cope with things so that's why I wanted to put this here because I think that really like tells a lot about a person and a character okay next would be all right so these are a little bit less deep so next would be if you could visit anywhere in the world where would it be so these are a little bit more obvious answers as you know if you see my royal family series, each of our kingdoms, they are based off of different cultures. I mean, we recently talked about Brindleton Bay being a mix between Spain and Portugal. I haven't added that actually yet, but I'll add that by the time you guys take the quiz. So if I could visit anywhere in the world, where would it be? China, London, France, Hawaii, India, or Africa. I love Hawaii. I've actually never been to China, but there's different parts of China I'd really love to go to, mostly just because of like the night markets and the shopping and just seeing everything. France would be really cool too. I've been to Hawaii, but I love Hawaii. Like anywhere tropical is my favorite thing ever. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna say Hawaii. Next is what is your favorite color? So purple, blue, pink, red, green, yellow, and orange. I think you guys can tell this goes with the royal family colors that each of the kingdoms have. Not all of the kingdoms have a specific color, but still some of the kingdoms that don't have like a specific color, they still have a favorite color and like wear multiple colors that like look good or that represent their culture. I love purple and I love red. I also love pink, but I wouldn't say it's like my favorite color, but I also really love purple, but I also love red just because I'm like a very passionate person and I feel like red reflects that. So I'm gonna go with red just because I think it reflects my personality and I just really love red too. Okay, so question seven. Did you always follow the rules when you were a child? So our options are one, yes, and I still do. Two, I did, but I've learned that the rules are not always right. Three, never. 
four, I did not, but I have learned to follow them as I have gotten older. And five, yes, it has always been what is expected of me. People usually make decisions for me though. Did I follow the rules when I was a kid? I think I did. Not all the time though, I don't know. I think like, yes, I follow the rules, but if something seems wrong and not, like something's not right, I think I go with that instead. Like what my conscious is telling me. So I'm gonna say I did, but I've learned that the rules are not always right. Okay, so the last question is, are you an introvert or an extrovert? So basically, do you like, do you thrive and get energy from being alone or do you thrive of the energy of other people? I, so yeah, our options are introvert, extrovert, or both. I would have to say both because I can be outgoing around people and I like being social and talking to people, but I also have to have my own alone time, just time to just play The Sims by myself or play video games by myself or just like sit in bed and do nothing just to like recharge. Like I cannot, like if I was just talking to people all the time, I would just get so, so tired. So I probably I'm gonna say both. Okay, so this is the last question. So we're about to see and calculate the results of what I am. I'm really excited, you guys. <gasps> okay. <laughs> So I got Princess Araminta of Guangxi or Glimmerbrook. The description is you are caring and kind. You can be outgoing around others, but you enjoy your alone time. You like to follow the rules, but if your heart is telling you that something is wrong, you will listen to it. So that's cool, guys. So I got Princess Araminta. I love Araminta. She's one of my favorites. Also, so this is like a very stylized picture of her. I probably, once I publish this, it's probably just going to be like create a sim pictures of all of them just so you guys know but yeah oh my gosh i cannot wait to see who you guys get so make sure you guys take the quiz and comment below who you guys got because i'm so excited to hear what everyone got as a result but i'm gonna end this video here make sure you comment below what you guys got if you enjoyed this make sure you hit that like button don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you have not already and i will see you guys in the next video bye